What's good, everybody? It's your girl Zara. Um, I am back with another video for y'all. Um, and I just want to preface this by saying that in the event that you see me looking down, I I got my my phone connected to my laptop so I can see. You know, it's kind of cool. I'm new to this whole thing, so I think it's kind of cool that I can see myself while I'm recording. But anyway, um, I hope everyone's been well. Um, I know it's been a while since I've um, really posted a full length video on here and I've kind of been like in and out for months actually. Um, just a brief little rundown, a lot has changed. Um, been doing a lot of growing, a lot of transforming, like literally in a matter of a couple of weeks. But um, prior to that, um, I have faced some major life changes, uh, life transitions. Um, I came back to Texas, um, and, you know, I am no longer in the relationship that I was in previously, so, um, yeah, a lot has changed, and, uh, a lot of reflecting have been going on, so, um, anyway, I'm gonna just get right into the video. After the breakup, um, we went our separate ways and um it, it, a lot was going on and it was kind of hard it was hard for me to really like invest myself in the present at the time and i'm talking like this was forever ago but it literally was just barely a month ago um i just felt like so much was going on around me at the time that um it was it became difficult over time for me to really invest in myself like I wanted to um I fell off the handle with a lot of things I fell off with um making content like on my social medias um on here um I fell off with doing a lot of things that grounded me and brought me down to earth and that made me feel good that made me feel like me um and I think that in the midst of all that I just kind of checked out and um, I don't know, it's just one of those things that happen and it's like you didn't realize it was happening while it was happening. Um, but anyway, I didn't have a place to stay for about a week or so after I left New Orleans. Um, stayed in a motel room. I spent one day in my car and, and Houston had a heat surge going on at the time and you know staying in the car with my two big dogs just was not feasible so um, you know we made it through that thankfully um, I'm very grateful for you know the people who have contributed and helped me out um, I know I wouldn't have been able I'm in my new place now um, I know that I wouldn't have been able to get this place without my dad's help. So I'm very grateful for the little circle that I have, for the community of people that I've had, I've had and um, for the support that constantly comes in, even if it is just from one or two people, you know, I am immensely grateful for them and um, this opportunity to really be with myself and really sit and reflect on the previous chapters of my life lately. And that brings me to the point of the video. Um, I realized that within these last couple of weeks that there's so much that I have been wanting to do. There's so much that I've been wanting to just get off the ground and get off my chest. And it's like, for the longest time, I, I, I really could not figure out what the problem was. And then at some point I realized that I was blaming it on things outside of myself, um, like my life circumstances or whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I've been doing a lot of reflecting, doing a lot of journaling and Today, actually, I've had this epiphany that just kind of slapped me in the face. <laughs> and, um, you know, my biggest blockage is me. 
And it's like, even though this is common sense, right? This is something like if you do your shadow work, if you're familiar with shadow work, um, it's like we already know that our biggest blockage is ourselves and the things that lie dormant within ourselves. But today I think I realized what that blockage really is for me um, that's keeping me from moving on to this next phase of life that um, I guess I kind of envisioned myself being in already. But that's the first problem. I realized today that I haven't been associating my heart with what I've been visualizing. So it's like, it's visualization without, what is it, improvocation? I don't even know if that's the right word, but without relating the feeling of wholeness to what it is that I'm seeing in my head, without relating to what I'm actually seeing and visualizing, I'm not embracing the feeling of what that could look or feel like, what that situation or that position in life would actually feel like. So instead of, you know, it's like I'm kind of like, I'm not saying that there is a right or wrong way to manifestation, but um, the biggest part that's been disconnecting me from my goals and the things that I want to accomplish is me feeling one with those things. So it's like I've told myself for so long that um, I'm just waiting for the right time, for the right opportunity to start something or to get something off the ground or to in fully invest myself in something. And, you know, I'm realizing that I've just been self-sabotaging my entire life. And um, there is no right time. It's, it's like, really, it's just like, how bad do you want it? So it's like, you know, I'm 30 years old now. And, and for the longest time, I was like, oh, man, you know, time is winding down. Like, um, it may be hard for me to actually get this stuff off the ground for me to do what I want to do. And it's like my circle has faded, too. Like, I'm pretty much a loner now. Like, I got one or two friends, and that's probably it. But, you know, it's like the epiphany that I had today is like, as long as I'm still breathing, as long as my heart is still beating, I have time. So the best thing for me to do right now is for me, for me to get out of my own way is facing my fear of success. And it's like, the thing is, is that I know I can be successful. I know I have the energy to be like this, whatever, you know, like this main character, right? But it's something about the process of getting there that scares me. And today, while I was doing my shadow work prompts, I realized what that thing is exactly. Um, and it's like, when you actually have these epiphanies, when you have these realizations about yourself, it's it's bittersweet it's like yeah you know I, I uncovered you know what it is but at the same time it's like man like I've really been holding myself back because of this so in short accepting that I have this huge imposter syndrome and that there is a part of me that really feels like I do not deserve the spotlight, that I don't deserve to feel whole and to be aligned with the goals that I have set forth for myself that I want to accomplish. And it's like uncovering all that and um, uncovering all that to the point of like realizing where it stems from. Um, at the end of the day, I have like this big issue with self-worth. And accepting my confidence or growing in confidence within myself and accepting that as like a good thing. Because at some point throughout my life, I uh, connected confidence with arrogance. So I tell myself, like, 
I don't want to come off arrogant to anyone. I never want to seem arrogant in anything that I do. But because I've related confidence to arrogance, I kind of took away my ability to be confident in myself, if that makes sense. And I hope y'all are following me. So it's like I've been operating. It's not that the confidence isn't there. It's just connecting to it and allowing it to manifest within me like it's supposed to and let it go ahead and, you know, exert outwardly like it's supposed to without disruption, without flaw, without me feeling like that's a bad thing. Embracing my gifts and um, allowing myself to shine like I deserve to, like I'm supposed to. And I, I realized that another issue that I have with actually putting my goals in motion and getting things off the ground <laughs> is that I go into it with the expectation of me automatically failing because I realize that I self-sabotage and therefore I refuse to remain consistent. I refuse to exercise discipline. So it's like I learned, I realized that that's my pattern. I don't have discipline and I, 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 I'm not consistent. And that has, those have been the hardest things for me to fully, you know, um, learn and embrace throughout my entire life. And I think that because subconsciously I recognize that pattern, I automatically go into my goals and to any situation that feels good that I really want. And I subconsciously, without realizing, self-sabotage it. And when I made that realization today, it's like, okay, now that we've kind of gotten to the root of what this is, and I would go into where that stems from, but that goes back to childhood. And that's not, I don't really want to visit that right now because for the sake of this video, it's about me making this realization and then addressing it accordingly, like moving accordingly. It's about progress, right? And it's like, I'm the type of person where I've, I'm doing shadow work even when people think I'm not doing shadow work. I'm reflecting almost all the time. Some may say that's a good or bad thing, but it's like I'm always in my head. So in my head, I break things down, right? But today, I think what happened was I asked the right question. While as before, I was trying to force the questions and therefore I was forcing the answers. Also realizing that I am very impulsive. <laughs> so it's like taking all of these traits about myself and not viewing them as a flaw not viewing them as a disappointment. Allowing myself to embrace all of the things that people would normally probably associate with something negative. Because that's been my problem. I've been associating qualities and traits within myself based off of other people's perceptions because that's not how they move or that's not their logic. It's not something that they understand. So I've been basing my entire persona off of what society, and not just society, but like this obviously stems from childhood issues, like, you know, family matters and stuff. Because I come from a family who at some point or another refused to accept their abilities. What makes me different is that I recognize it. I recognize the pattern. So it's like, those patterns that carried on to me at some point, right? I realized that today. And now it's like 
shifting all of these things around and taking the negatives and turning them into a positive. That's basically just what shadow work is. For those of you that don't know, So it's like, to understand that I've been addressing this all wrong, that I've been looking at this and I've been skipping several steps, which makes sense as to why I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. I have to heal my imposter syndrome. Accepting myself for the amazing divine being that I am. Accepting myself for the person that the people closest to me that have loved me the most have seen. Embracing that energy. Allowing that energy to come through and step forward into the into the limelight because that's what I deserve. That's where I belong. And when I say limelight, when I say fame or anything like that, I'm not talking about just, you know, rags to riches type situations. I'm I'm talking about like walking in my authenticity. Really embracing all the creative energy that flows in my veins. Embracing the knowledge and the wisdom and having full faith and understanding that all of that is going to exude itself when it's time to. Another problem that I realized that I had is that I felt like I needed to know everything, that I needed to learn everything before I could start something, before I could get invested and go, you know, head in like fully deep, like deeply into something I needed to learn everything self-sabotage and that couldn't be the furthest from the truth because when you are walking in your power when you embrace your 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 wisdom and you are really walking in faith and you really accept yourself for the being that you are you also trust that all the knowledge that you have, everything that you need will just come to you because it's already in you. Telling myself that I possess everything that I need and believing it, believing it to my heart's core. So, yeah. That's where I'm at right now. And um, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet to uncover these things about myself, to really sit here and, and be invested in myself. Like, and this is something I've been wanting for a while too, you know. It came with a price, you know. Um, it came with the price of me losing someone that I cherish so deeply. But I get it. You know, I get it and I understand why that 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 situation transpired the way that it did. Because it triggered me into seeing myself for who I really am. So If you are watching this and you have related to anything that I have said, if any of this has resonated in any way, continue to show yourself compassion and be patient with yourself during this process. Give yourself grace by understanding that sometimes we have seasons and that in those seasons is when we are probably making the most progress, but it just may not seem that way when we're looking from one perspective but really you're you're growing and you're making so many moves so quickly you're shifting and it's a lot to take in 
I think a lot of people are going through that right now. And um, it's just important to remember during this time that we are not supposed to have this figured out in one night. Some people can spend their entire lives trying to learn or have the epiphanies that I've had tonight. So I'm grateful for that opportunity. And yeah. So as practice for me to move past my fears, um, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep vlogging. Um, I am going to do my best to set up a plan. But I don't want to just say that. I want to actually invest. I'm still going through some um, life transitions right now. So as I continue to adjust to what my life is about to look like from this point on moving forward, um, I have to get out of my own way. And that's just for me. This, this isn't for anyone else. I have to get out of my own way. So... Thank you for watching if you stayed this long. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are interested in seeing some future content, go ahead and subscribe down below. Um, I also have a podcast available only on Spotify and Amazon Music. It's called Revelations of a Black Butterfly. I will also have that link below, um, as well as the links to any of my social medias, which really I just be on TikTok and Instagram, nothing else. So I appreciate you again. I'm so grateful for you staying this long. If you did, I wish you many blessings and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.